Have you or someone you know said that your relationship is moving too fast? It can be difficult to tell if you're moving too fast in a relationship, especially when you're all caught up in the rush of emotions and excitement. It's something that'll stand out to others, like your friends and family, but can be easily missed from your own lens. Of course, it's normal and there's no harm in the honeymoon phase, but if you don't put things into perspective, you very well might end up rushing into a relationship before it's had time to truly develop. With this being said, my video will provide tons of value because I'll be discussing three proven signs your relationship is moving too fast. The first sign is that you're dependent on a feeling. So let's really dissect what this means because so many people I've coached seem to be confused. When thinking about your partner, do you solely receive value and joy from how they make you feel? If they don't appease you in every aspect of the relationship, does it cause your entire day to be ruined? If your answer is yes to both, then it's clear that your relationship is moving too fast and that the two of you may not be on the same page with expectations. I would encourage you to not focus on feelings alone, but dig deeper and meditate on the values that you two have in common. Things can get extremely blurry when chasing a feeling rather than a lasting relationship because it's easy to get caught up in surface level wants instead of valuable needs. For example, your happiness and mental stability will be based on whether your partner focuses on you 24 seven instead of you making sure that your foundation is healthy and whole. You may be unfortunately focused on a cure for loneliness, sexual pleasure, or the feeling of being in love. With this being said, if you find yourself resonating with this, I encourage you to take a step back and give yourself permission to slow down. The second sign that your relationship is moving too fast is if you've idolized your partner. Idolizing your partner very well could be a byproduct of allowing your feelings alone to navigate the relationship. Again, this will cause the relationship to derail at a rapid pace. Idealization means that you've put him or her on a pedestal and will protect your partner at all costs, even putting your mental and physical health in jeopardy. It's as if you've convinced yourself that your partner is perfect and you worship the ground they stand on. Having a mentality such as this could lead you to feeling like you're a doormat and that your opinions don't matter. I actually suffered from this during my unhealthy dating days. As soon as I would find someone new, all of my energy and focus would be on her. There was no balance between my friends, family, and her. Those days were extremely toxic because I had no clue on how to have a healthy and wholesome relationship. The truth is no one is perfect. So if you feel this way, it's best to pump the brakes. You may be dealing with these issues and that's why it's imperative that if you are, that you find a knowledgeable coach like myself. Sign number three is that you're making unreasonable sacrifices. This could be the same as having no clear boundaries or set standards. This is not to say that sacrifice and compromise should not be a part of the relationship, but there are certain things that should come once the two of you have truly gotten to know each other. So let's say the guy you've been dating for only a week calls you and says that he would like for you to pick up breakfast for him. Mind you that he's 40 minutes from you and you have to be at work in one hour. Without hesitation, you comply with his wants and make the drive out of your way to take him food. After driving to his place and back to your side of town to go to work, you realize that you're 30 minutes late. This may sound extreme and you may say that you'd never do something like this, but you'd be surprised how many people I've coached that have told me stories similar to this. If you are sacrificing things in your life that are important to you so that you can cater to this new person or to please them in some way, you have to ask yourself whether they are deserving of these sacrifices that you're making. Again, small unreasonable sacrifices can eventually lead to life altering changes. You could also find yourself unable to make sound decisions for yourself. I understand that you wanna see them a lot and be there for them as much as possible, but if you're giving too much too soon and it's becoming one-sided, you'll probably regret it later. So let's hear from you. Do you resonate with these three signs or know someone who's struggling with moving too fast in their relationship? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. As always, your free one hour breakthrough session is only an email away. Contact me now at lifecoachjscott at gmail.com. Thanks for your support. 
Be safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.